Hello, thank you for joining me on I Am Maggie. And so what we're doing here, we are doing a slow crawl through this wonderful book, Excuses Be Gone, by Dr. Wayne Dyer. And this book is to help us how to change lifelong self-defeating thinking habits. We are in part one, and he is alluding more and more to how part, part, part three is gonna be more action steps, which is really exciting. We're laying down the framework to understand whatever holds us back can be reprogrammed and we can have our best life. So hit like, hit subscribe, and I'd love to hear your positive comments. Thank you for joining me. So we're in chapter two, Your Two Minds. So we are in, we're gonna pick up where we left off. Um, the subtitle here is See Yourself Through a New Lens. So everybody, see yourself through a new lens. The quote at the beginning of this chapter was written almost 120 years ago by the father of modern psychology, William James, who urges us to be aware of the danger of living as if there are no choices. I am personally convinced that everyone has a capacity for greatness that transcends anything they've been taught to believe that every being who ever existed is in fact a portion of the all creating power of intention. So that, that statement has so much favor in it. Here we go, let's read that again. And if you are able to open, receive, and give yourself permission to receive the giftings. I am personally convinced that everyone has the capacity for greatness that transcends anything they've been taught to believe that every being who ever existed is in fact a portion of the all creating power of intention, and that's you. Since we're all pieces of the infinite creative source, we should continually be telling ourselves, I came from God, and since I must be like what I came from, I am a piece of the divine. Trying to imagine the all creating spiritual force Coming up with excuses for anything is impossible because it is creating from its own consciousness. So I came from God and since I must be like what I came from, I am a piece of the divine. And also knowing that we can imagine the all creating spiritual force supporting us to overcome our excuses because anything is possible. So now, put yourself in the picture, or as Reality Transurfing would say, the slide, or as Neville Goddard would say, imagine. As many teachers would, this is, you know, honestly, the messages tend to be the same, and we have all these wonderful teachers around the world helping to enlist us and push us in the right direction, gently. While your mind is part of the unlimited source, it becomes limited when you believe it to be failable, weak, impotent, or any other adjective that misidentifies with creative energy. So that negative lower track thinking, right? It's gonna hold you down, limit you, and create those excuses. When you edge God out, ego, E-G-O, edge God out, in this manner, you've invited ego, which is known as the false self by spiritual teachers of all persuasions. I invite you to try on a new lens, put your new lens on, that lets you access your false self with its tons of excuses, many of which I've detailed in the following chapter and its belief in limitations. So you guys are all keeping your little journal, writing down what comes up, even type it into your phone so that you Start being aware of what those excuses are so we can transform them. As it, um, as it edges God out, your false self forces you to part with the ideas that prove you're a spiritual being having a temporary human experience. So we're spiritual beings having temporary human experiences. Energy is not created or destroyed, so you never, you never die. You, you may come out of the body but the spirit never dies. Ego gives you the rationale for creating the rationalizations and justifications 
that eventually go on to direct your life. And we will not be led by these our excuses. We will step forward. They become so embedded in what social scientists call the subconscious that your habitual mind turns into an excuse machine. Allow yourself to look through your new lens, okay, by acquiring a set of beliefs that includes your spiritual or God-realized nature. So see yourself in your highest life track, your highest form. What would that look like? I encourage you all, put that in your journal too. Even draw a picture of what that would look like. Put And see yourself as you, winning. It may feel a little unfamiliar or even mysterious at first, but be willing to allow your senses to adjust to this new way of seeing. Transcend the idea that your genetic makeup is static. With your new ability to perceive ego, you become a wizard who easily dethrones the dictator of your false self. Bypassing early conditioning imposed by people in your environment who have edged out God. So they edge out God, they teach you to edge out God, everybody's living, you know, limiting. You want to look at who you see living unlimited, fearless, or even if they're fearful, they are courageous to overcome the fear and then they build the confidence. So as you get comfortable with this new view of seeing yourself, ask yourself the following questions. If no one told me who I was, this is a wonderful one. If no one told me who I was, who would I be? So if no one told you who you were, who would you be? Please jot that down for yourself in your journal. Quietly meditate on this by spending some time in the spaciousness of not knowing. Imagine that your subconscious mind is now extended, um, non-existent, and there is no storage receptacle for excuses during your life. Okay, so excuses be gone. There's just an open, inviting, clear space inside of you a tabula rasa or blank slate with a magical surface that nothing adheres to. The magic of everyday life, Maria Zepes, here she is again. She's encouraging us guys. So you might imagine that your everyday conscious mind simply doesn't absorb the opinions of the folks you grew up with. In this little fantasy, there's never been anyone telling you who you are. So who are you? So this, in this container, in this space, guys, you're gonna remove all limits and you're gonna ask yourself, if no one told me who I was, who would I be? So who are you? I would love to hear in the comments because we are all going to be transforming. Each time we do a video, each time we fellowship together, and each time we read a page in these books, we are gonna continually taking the stairway to heaven and God is going to upgrade us. When I did this exercise, I found that my answer to the above question was quite simply, I would be anything that I am, that I and only I decided to be in this moment and all future moments. Okay, so let's say he said, I would be anything that I and only I decided to be in this moment and all future moments. As the song goes, I gotta be me. And that means jet setting all the excuses I've accumulated. My habitual life wouldn't be based upon anyone's early programming since there wouldn't be anyone who ever told me who I am or as the Tao teaches. Here we go. Look to nature for your substance. Look to the great mysteries, Tao. God that does nothing and leaves nothing undone. Observe how the entire universe and all these beautiful Tao centered creatures work. Okay, I'm going to read that again because it's just so beautiful. Look to nature for your sustenance. Look to the great mysterious Tao, God, that does nothing and leaves nothing undone. Observe how the entire universe 
and all these beautiful Tao centered creatures work because there is still order in the chaos. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes to get cleaned up, things got to get messy. So Tao centered creatures allow. So God centered creatures allow. They trust. They live here in the present moment. And most assuredly, they have no need for any excuses. So guys, remember in this too, I always want to remind you, wherever you are at in the spectrum or whatever's going on, because this work can really start up-leveling things, but be gentle with yourself. Make sure you're taking great self-care. You know, if you need extra naps, drinking high-quality clean water, um, make sure you are like putting, you know, uh, favor upon your water, like my water is hydrating me it's healthy my water loves me i love my water a healthy foods you know fruits vegetables healthy sources of substance versus like fast foods make sure you're getting proper sleep stay away from substances that like take you out like just you know honestly it's common sense just take really good care of yourself as you're going through this process because you are precious and it's a process. If you do the work, the work will do you. All right, I wanna thank you so much for joining me. So now hit like and subscribe, and I'd love to hear your positive comments or just hear maybe what some of these questions might have stirred in you. I would love to know what is possible. Where, what are you working on? Where are you going? Because it's so fun to hear about everybody's positive processes or what, where they're up leveling to. All right, thank you, and you know what's next. Peace in, peace out.